Hi, I'm Mitchell Anikos, a technical writer at DigitalOcean. In this screencast, I'll show you how to set up a web server with your own custom domain name. Once your domain is configured properly, your users will be able to access your web server through a convenient name instead of an unwieldy IP address. First, we'll register a domain. Then, we'll configure the domain to use the DigitalOcean DNS. After that, we'll create a DigitalOcean droplet if one doesn't exist. And then we'll create the DNS records necessary to point the domain to the droplet. If you haven't done so, find an unregistered domain that you want and register it. You may search for and register available domains through a domain registrar. The annual cost of domain registration will vary depending on the registrar and top-level domain that you choose. Popular registrars such as Namecheap, one and one and GoDaddy offer domains for about $5 to $15 each per year. We are going to register a domain, mitchellanikas.com, with Namecheap, but be sure to shop around before making your choice. Once you have a registered domain, you can configure it to use DigitalOcean's name servers. This process will be performed through your registrar's control panel. Because I registered my domain with Namecheap, I will show you this process through their control panel. Click the link in the annotations to read a tutorial that covers this process for most of the popular domain registrars. Sign into Namecheap, then hover over your account name, and click Manage Domains. Select the domain that you want to use with your droplet. Click on Transfer DNS to Webhost. Now select Specify Custom DNS Servers. Enter the three DigitalOcean name servers displayed on the screen here. ns1.digitalocean.com, ns2, and ns3. Then click Save Changes. The domain is now configured to use the DigitalOcean name servers. It may take up to 24 hours for the changes to take effect, but it will often only take a few minutes. Now let's open the terminal to see if the DNS transfer has completed. Type in whois, and then your domain name, and then hit enter. You might have to scroll up a little bit, but you should see the three DigitalOcean name servers. Now we'll quickly create a DigitalOcean droplet to point our domain to. If you already have a droplet that you want to use, feel free to skip this step. In the DigitalOcean control panel, click Create Droplet. Then name your droplet and choose the size. Select your desired region and available settings. Then select the image. Let's look at the Applications tab. In this tab, you'll see the one-click applications that are available for DigitalOcean droplets. These one-click images come with software pre-configured on a droplet to help you get started. For this demonstration, let's select the ghost image. Next, scroll down and select any SSH keys that you want to add. Then click Create Droplet. Because we just created a new droplet using the ghost image, there should be a ghost blog running at the IP address of the droplet. Select the droplet IP address, then copy it and open it in a new tab in your browser. It looks like our server is working. Now let's configure the DNS records so we can use the domain instead of the IP address to access the site. Go back to the DigitalOcean control panel and click DNS, then click Add Domain. In the Name field, specify the domain that you registered. In my case, it's mitchellanikas.com. Then select the droplet that you want to use from the drop-down menu. This will automatically fill in the IP address of the droplet. Now click Create Domain. This will create an A record that points your domain to droplet's IP address. After the DNS records propagate, Anyone who tries to access your domain will be directed to your droplet. At this point, you may want to add other records under your domain. For example, if I want www.mitchellanikos.com to also point to my ghost blog, I can create an A or a C record to do so. More information about using DNS records can be found in the link in the annotation. Now go to your domain in a browser. If you configured everything correctly, you should see whatever is running on the HTTP port of your web server. Congrats! Your web server is now accessible via a custom domain. If you followed this screencast and used a one-click application image, be sure to check out the associated tutorial on DigitalOcean's community site. A tutorial for configuring and using each one-click image can be found under the one-click install apps tag. Good luck! We hope you enjoyed the screencast. If you're looking to learn more about open source software and server administration, be sure to check out the DigitalOcean community for our extensive collection of tutorials at do.co community. See you next time!